Well, parents, they want some answers from Buffalo schools tonight about a strange situation that has a chance come change coming to nurses offices. Good evening. I'm Scott Levin and I'm Mary Alice Demler. A missed deadline by just a few minutes has Kaleida out after years of providing nurses to the district Two on your sides. Claudine Ewing went to get answers as we hold people in power accountable. These nurses are not concerned about a deadline, but what's best for the children they serve in Buffalo schools. We have 32 children who visit daily, most two or three times a day for feedings, procedures. Kaleida has provided nurses in Buffalo schools for 13 years. That relationship will likely end because Kaleida was late, 16 minutes late, submitting a bid to keep its contract with Buffalo schools, and they take responsibility for the error and being late. Why were you guys late to the deadline? Sure, so the request for proposal actually changed and there were some additions that the district wanted, some uh, additional information. So uh, obviously, you know, we were running hard and fast and, you know, staff made a, 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 an error. It was never sealed. Uh, there was a, they, they, they had signed the documents at the last minute. They came in very rushed and hurried. Uh, their documents were all over the place. The district had provided them with an envelope to seal it. This afternoon, the Buffalo Parent Teacher Organization and school nurses wanted to send a strong message to the district. Our kids' lives hang in the balance. We deserve a seat at the table. We don't want to change providers. We don't want another agency, especially one that might not even be local, to take over. We want to keep Kaleida nurses. The accountability here solely rests with Kaleida. We feel um, badly uh, for the nurses uh, that are involved in this. We feel badly for our students. We wish that Kaleida could have been part of this process and that they were not late to the game. It's a $6 million contract. It usually comes up every five years. The apology to the nurses here should be coming from Kaleida. They're the ones that dropped the ball. And we're talking about specialized pediatric trained nurses who work in the Buffalo schools. There were at least 10 bids that arrived on time that the superintendent will review. If none of the 10 meet the specifications, he will then look at the three late bidders, including Kaleida. The decision is expected to be announced next Wednesday at the board meeting. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.